What can happen when you end a relationship with a narcissist? The best option is not to do this in person as you never know precisely how they would respond to you. Someone who exploits others and has little to no genuine empathy towards those around them that wants to control all others is not someone you want to tell in person that they are losing control over you. Then, if possible, once you have safely got out of the relationship, no contact is always your best option. This is the best way to leave. Many people can feel mean by not letting them know. However, it is your safest option. It's not always possible if you have children with them to go no contact. In this case, finding a safe way out than limited contact and grey rock. With a narcissist, no contact is always the best and most powerful way to heal yourself so that you can clear your mind, gather your thoughts and start putting your reality back in place. It means they can no longer affect you and when they do try to contact you, you can stand in your truth. While you're not responding, the narcissist finds it as criticism. They know they are being ignored if they keep messaging you and you don't respond. This can cause narcissistic injury. No contact can anger some narcissists more than others as it questions their beliefs that they are special. It questions their sense of entitlement, yet it helps you to recover. After a period of no contact, when they do try to reach out to you, you'll be recovered enough not to let it affect you. They might still try from time to time, but most narcissists will try to find another source of supply to replace you. They don't want their ego crushing too much. When you end a relationship with a narcissist, depending on the narcissist, depends on the response that you may receive. We can make generalizations based on people who have dealt with narcissistic people. Those on the lower end of the narcissist spectrum, when you end it with them, they suffer a narcissistic injury. They find it a great criticism there. In a rage and anger can rise, especially if you've broken up with them. Do not do this in person as they might react in an aggressive physical way. As the narcissist has lost control, they may destroy your property or lash out at you physically or with words. They just want to hurt you as they have suffered a narcissistic injury. Those on the upper end of the spectrum of the narcissist personality disorder will be able to think at the moment and most likely move towards a calculated attack later on. If a narcissist has not discarded you, they take this as a narcissistic injury. It criticises who they are. They find no contact with great criticism as they hate losing control and power over you. Nobody throws a bigger tantrum than a narcissist losing control over someone else's mind. When you keep not responding to a narcissist, they feel a need to keep going until they get a response out of you as they have been criticised. They have suffered a narcissistic injury. When it comes to breaking up with a narcissist, by not doing it in person, you'll not be in immediate danger. You don't owe a narcissist anything. You don't owe somebody who cannot be honest, truthful, respectful, loyal to you anything. Some people do find that they need to send them a letter. They need to send them a message. They need to send them an email. But this is more to explain yourself. And when you're explaining yourself to a narcissist, a narcissist isn't listening to you. They're listening at what they can use against you. Some will send a barrage of messages back. Some have less control of their age and will react before thinking.
The more you stick with no contact, the more a narcissist can feel weak and withdrawn, getting depressed. This is when you might get them messaging you with guilt trips, pity plays to pull on your heartstrings, pull on your compassion, pull on your empathetic side of wanting to reach out and help and support them. They will be trying to find a replacement, but while they find a replacement, they will be trying to get at you. If the narcissist finds someone new, they will, for the most part, leave you alone unless they can find a way of getting attention from the both of you, playing the victim to the new and smearing your name or gloating about the relationship to try and hurt you. There was on the middle end of the spectrum, if you tell them you are leaving them in person, again, this causes narcissistic injury and they can feel that rage as they believe they've been criticised by you. Yet most have more control over their rage. So they might try pulling on your empathy and do the pity play route to stop you leaving in the first place especially if they've not got somebody else lined up if they don't have a replacement these narcissists are the ones where you might get a false apology things like i'm sorry if you can help me you're right i need to stop neglecting you i don't know what to do without you please give me a chance to put things right i know i need to change please will you help me i'm sorry you know what I'm like. And what they are saying is partly true, which is what pulls us back into their games. It is partly true. We do know what they're like, but they're only saying these things to pull us back in. They're only saying these things because they feel sorry for themselves to get us to stay. They'll soon be back to who they truly are. If the first tactic doesn't work, they might move on to the emotional blackmail. After all I've done for you, this is how you treat someone who does so much for you. You're so selfish, you only care about yourself. How could you, of all people, do this to me? I thought you loved me. What about the children? I can change. If this hasn't worked and they've not got a replacement lined up, they can go and find a replacement. They believe within themselves that they ended it with you. If you go no contact, they will sulk off and start the mass smear campaign against you of why they left you. They smear others' names as they play the victim or the hero if needed to ruin your reputation, your character and your name, to escape the shame of the things that they actually did to you. You'll be the horrible person, you'll be the toxic person that they had to put up with so long to get you to defend yourself. And when you do defend yourself more often than not, you play straight into the narcissist's hands and their smear campaign why no reaction, no response is the best response to a narcissist smear campaign. If you don't tell them in person, some might call a message to beg you. They will seem genuinely remorseful, yet this is just an act. Please remember their true colours. They do not change. They just hide who they truly are. If they've not got a replacement and you've got no contact, some will do their best to find a way to get at you or find a way to get a replacement. And narcissists really find it difficult to find someone new. They often move on before the relationship is even over. They've often usually groomed someone while they were with you. With no contact, those in the middle end of the spectrum are most likely to sulk and play the victim with you and those around them. They should eventually leave you alone. They may come for the hoover and once they realise you're still no contact, they will just find new supply, they will just find new people. The narcissist, sociopath or those on the higher end of the spectrum, if you tell them in person it's over, they usually already know what you're about to say from your body language. They will look like they're paying attention to you. They will look like they care. They just want to pick your words apart to bait you into a reaction. They can stay very calm and they can plot. They'll take note of your emotions. They will let you speak. They still suffer a narcissistic injury as they find it a great criticism as they have a greater control over their inner rage. They will just calculate their next move against 
you. And as soon as you forgive a narcissist, as soon as you take a narcissist back, more often than not, their behaviour gets worse. When it comes to a narcissist on the upper end of the spectrum, you may get things like, why are you ending it over a silly argument? You'll never find anyone as good as me. Do you know how lucky you are to have someone like me after all I've done for you? Let's go away and make it better. Where would you like to go? You choose, I'll pay. Let's get married. Let's start that family. Let's find that family home. I'll go to counselling. I need your help, I need your support and many more to try and prevent you from leaving so they can find a source of supply, they can find a replacement and they can leave you. They believe that you should feel privileged to be with them and that you're the one that's gone crazy. A narcissist will be more than happy to leave you. However, the narcissist does not want you to leave them. They want control. Although someone on the spectrum of the disorder have less control over their inner rage than others, they all use it to try and prevent you from leaving. If you do leave, they will go all out to destroy you, either helping you lose your job, planting drugs, taking your home. They will try to go all out to destroy everything they can. Some people are holding grudges against you for the things that they did to you. They are doing this in the hope that you will go back and that it will stop. And if you don't go back, if it doesn't stop because they hold a grudge against you, they are doing this to seek revenge on you. If you don't tell a narcissist in person that you're ending the relationship, they don't like the fact that they didn't realise you were leaving and they might try to hoover you back in. With those on the middle to the higher end of the spectrum, these are the ones who will go for several hoovers to try and pull you back in so that they can discard you. If a narcissist succeeds in hoovering you back in, sucking you back into their games, they will find a replacement so they can discard you. The more we go back, the worse their treatment of us becomes. The best chance with all narcissists is to end it and end it without telling them in person, get to safety first and then it's no contact. Most narcissists will react as they've suffered a narcissistic injury, as they feel criticised, but they will try to find someone new or go to one they've already been seeing more often than not. It's only when they're failing with the new person that they try to come back to you. Some might even send you messages trying to get you to reminisce about the good times. Or they will try to gloat about their new relationship and triangulate to get a rise out of you or their current partner. This video is just a guideline. Although all narcissists have the same nine characteristics most only need five to be classed on the spectrum of the disorder and they can have a different five the ones on the lower end of the spectrum have different tactics to those on the upper end of the spectrum overts are more direct than the coverts hidden behavior grandiose and more arrogant and in your face and obvious in their behaviour than the fragile who plays the victim. However, they can cross over to meet a need of their own, as no two narcissists are exactly the same as they have the narcissist personality disorder. They can behave very similar. When it comes to ending a relationship with a narcissist, the best approach is not to tell them in person. Put your feelings to one side about how they might feel because they're not interested on how you feel and put your safety first and then go no contact to leave them to go and live their life while you go and live your life. I shall add in the video description the Narcissist May campaign, the Narcissist Hoover and the two sides to a Narcissist Games after you go no contact. Remember, you can and you will recover from this. You are enough and you deserve better than those who don't deserve you. And that's not to be mean. That's not to be disrespectful. A narcissist disrespects you. A narcissist is untrustworthy. A narcissist isn't loyal. 
those people you do not need in your life. Walk free to create a happier life for you and let them go and live their life for themselves. If anyone has any thoughts on the video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much for listening and go out there and create the day that you deserve so that you can start creating the life that you deserve because you do deserve to have a good life. Bye.